Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Ben Thompson and Luxmi Gopal. Good morning. Our headlines for you at six o'clock. Eve for us and we'll be returning to James for more updates on that story in an hour. But now let's turn to Ben. And Ben, you've got uh, some more on the other stories of today, haven't you? Yes, that's right, Luxmi. Thanks. The weather has in store for all those runners today. Morning, Matt. Morning. What a change, wasn't it? Matt, thank you. Nice to see you. See you later. You as well. Yes, so good to hear for the marathon runners today that it's not going to be too hot and we will be there live in a, a little moment. But first, let's have a look at today's papers now. The... Name and shame, name and shame. <laughs> Happy to throw them under the bus, that's for sure. Oh dear, pulling rank. <laughs> Uh, we, yes, we're here to talk about uh, a bunch of people who I imagine in the gym, uh, whether they film themselves or not, would be fairly tired mm. where they'd go in because Manchester City won the FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea yesterday. Mm. But afterwards, all the talk was about the fact they didn't really fancy playing it because they were so tired after yeah. what they had done in the previous few days. Um, so I don't know if you have any sort of sympathy. Most money ever raised for charity at the event. Uh, our reporter Charlotte Gallagher is there for us. Final preparations are taking shape. And uh, we can see the final preparations being made there. Charlotte this morning and the weather it seems is on the side of the runners today isn't it? Nervous about Hugo and Tess though because their hands are trapped I just worry what if they fall over? Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse in Kyiv for us. Well, let's get more on the day's other top stories now, starting with what was mentioned in the headline there Ben the vigil taking place in Sydney. Yes likes me thanks very much. Very sunny looking over there and today we might have a bit of sunshine in store Here's Matt with a look at the weather forecast. Matt, beautiful sunrise picture behind you. Is that from today? It is indeed. Lovely. Thank you. I don't mind that too much because it's been quite nice this last couple of days, so we'll have that, even if it is a bit chillier. Thank you. OK, enjoy. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Matt. Yeah, but as Matt says, that's uh, pretty good conditions for marathon runners. Obviously, mm. lots of people out running today, raising money for good causes. Now, when Catherine Pointer was diagnosed with cancer as a teenager. She was determined to learn all about the disease and the treatment that she'd receive. Yes, now decades later, that same curiosity drives her work as a scientist exploring new treatment options for cancer patients. Our reporter, James Ingham, has been to meet her. Our Ukraine correspondent, James Waterhouse, in Kyiv, speaking to us a little bit earlier. The time's now coming up to seven minutes past eight. We'll be live with uh, our correspondent, who's at the start line of the London Marathon, in a bit. But first, let's get some of the rest of the day's top stories from Ben now. Ben. Likes me. Thanks very much. Uh, well, yes, despite the protests, it looks nice and sunny there. Uh, the weather here is a little bit changeable. Mm. There's quite a lot of contrast, depending where you live in the country, isn't there, Matt? Good morning. There certainly is, Ben. But our winter coat away yet? I'd keep it handy. Ah. Lay layering is the best option this time of year, because once the sun comes out, you have to take those layers off. Good advice, Matt. It's all about layers. Yes. Thank you. Indeed. And speaking of the great outdoors uh, and the weather, pretty changeable right now, isn't it? Which could mean people get into difficulty if you're just out for a hike or a walk. And mountain rescue volunteers calling for extra signage now to be added to some of the Lake District's most popular but most dangerous hiking trails. Yes, that's right, and it comes as a teenage walker says he thought he was going to die after falling in freezing conditions on the descent of Scarfell Pike. It took 19 hours for volunteers to get Ben Longton and his two dogs to safety. Our reporter Mark McAllendon has the story. He's uh, at the start line as those final preparations take shape. And Charlotte, you've been introducing us to some of the runners this morning. It looks like the band is gathering Ooh. behind you. Good morning. I can't believe it. It's just over a week until May and we still can't put our winter coats away. We'll get there. That's we'll true. get there. Matt, have a lovely Thank weekend. You. See you later. See Thank you. Matt. Uh, now, Leeds train station, one of the busiest in the UK, uh, and musicians can now officially set up stage there. Yeah, a bit of music to improve your mood on the commute. A busking spot has been opened up in the station's main concourse by Network Rail. It's become the first of its kind outside London. Our reporter Tom Ingle went to see what difference it's making. And uh, that is all from us this morning. Breakfast will be back tomorrow from six. Have, Have a, a great weekend. Day. See you very soon. Bye. Bye, -bye.